I thought it would be fun to show you some work I've been doing with the Nekimatic, or the Wonder Wheel as it's often referred to. So, I've got this connected and it's kind of, it's quite easy to set up and uh, I've just got it on the needle position at the moment. Let me just shrink this down a bit. What you can see is how it stitches and it's moving along and it's moving back. Now what I found about this particular contraption is it does do some quite attractive scallops and decorative stitching. It's okay, but it doesn't have one particular cam that I would have really valued in it, which is a multi-point zigzag, because it's, it's a, rather than decorative, it, it can be decorative and useful. So the, the stitching it's got for this, I'll reduce this a little bit more, tighten it up, is, is just purely decorative, which, you know, is nice, but more useful you know, the, the, the multi-point would be much more useful. You know, we can go for hours and hours and hours with all the different types of stitches, but they're decorative. So what I thought it would be a bit of fun is to show you something I've been working on. Okay, so let's pull this off remove this cap. So the stitching I was doing there is what looks like when you initially see it as a multi-point zigzag, but actually is just very long triangles, left and right, left and right. So that's number five. And it looks like this when you do stitch it out. You know, obviously you, you can adjust the stitch length, but you know, it gives basically a long zigzag, but that isn't, for me, the most useful. So I thought, hmm, I wonder if it's possible to create a multi-point zigzag using this mechanism. Okay, so I was poking around and worked really hard. I did loads and loads and loads of attempts. And I've got this cam, which I've created now, which isn't bad. It's not perfect. But it does give a very close to good multi-point zigzag. And if you put on the zigzag part at the same time, you can get some decorative stitching out of it. So let me attach it to the uh, wheel here. You have to find the, uh, there it is, the track that it's in. Bring this over. Put it down there. Screw it on. And what I found is because it has to do a little bit of extra movement, so I found it there was a bit of value in actually putting a few drops of oil into it. Just because it, it's got to do a lot more movement than <coughs> some of the other types of cams which have a very much slower action. This one's quite a a much higher action cam. So, got it on zero, and off we go. So I'll show you it working. And you can see it's moving a lot more. So if I want to spend more time on this, I could easily get it perfected. But in the meantime, at least it's possible and it works. So I'll show you the stitching it does in a moment. Okay. So, let's... so there you can see snap the threads. You know, not too far off a perfect. So you can see some of them are perfect and some of them a bit flattened on top. 
that's where I would need to do a bit of quality control on this cam, but for my purposes, that'll do just fine. It's better than not having a multi-point zigzag on this machine. So it works. So I'll show you some other nifty things you can do with it. So you can just give a little bit of a zigzag to it. Maybe a bit little more than I want. And then I'll show you this stitching as well. So this is a bit more decorative this time. And you've got the zigzag going as well. this one. So if I put it with a little small zigzag, you get that effect, which is rather attractive, I think. Very nice. And let me show you one more, which is quite fun. I'll just turn it around the other way and start from the top. And that's when we hook on the zigzag as well. So, put the zigzag in there. And off we go. So what this is now doing is moving both the needle position lever and the zigzag in tandem. And I'll show you the difference that makes. Now it's screwed in. It can work loose. red jam after all that, but that's the effect it gives you when you put the two together. So that's quite a cute little pattern as well. Decorative. So from the multi-point zigzag to just multi-point with the needle position to the two together, you get that look. So you get three different options and of course you can use those other settings as well, which just gives you less um, zigzag. Right. And that's the Necky Wonder Wheel. So it works. You know, you get. I mean, this machine does amazing stitching. I have to admit. You can see here's here's this different. So I put the scalloped one here. So the scalloped cam there. Then I shortened it down a lot to put on the 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 triangular one, which I showed you before, with a much longer stitch. And then we have the multi-point zigzag, which is there. You know, it gives a really nice look. So I'm very pleased. This machine works really well. Hope you found that interesting.